Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SDL0320, representing JVS, so I'm back here again for another review for episode two of the second season of Supergirl. Uh, the name of this episode is The Last Children of Krypton. This is actually a pretty interesting episode, coming off the last one, where they introduced a brand new, well, a classic Superman villain in Metallo. And I actually like the, the actor they had and the way they kind of utilized him in the first episode, coming against both of them. And so for them, for him to actually have powers, I was like, this is actually going to be pretty epic, you know, coming off the preview. And I have to say, I actually really enjoyed it. I, I will say off the gate, this is not better than the first episode, um, but it's still going in the right direction. And I'll go ahead and kind of elaborate why I say that. One of the things I realized about just Supergirl in general, like, I mean, there are moments last season where there was some really good combat, there's some really good choreography, there's really good action beats. And I think that the show has elevated since it's been on the CW Network. Like, some of those fight sequences that I saw uh, K Carol Danvers do, and I saw her kind of like going back and forth with, you know, um, one of the, the guys that were kind of imprisoning her, and they were kind of like shooting at her. Like, just the choreography reminded me of Arrow so much. I was like, this is actually better you know and even like seeing like john jones and superman butting heads you know what i'm saying like i never thought in my lifetime that i would see them two beefing on the big screen like i just i had to take a step back because i remember back in smallville days i don't know if y'all can appreciate it but back in smallville days i was just like i want him to be in the tights i want him to be superman and we got john jones and stuff like that but we never got him to be superman this is very much so a Superman and I think that I appreciate it and I actually enjoy it so much more because of that. Um, another thing I'll say about the episodes is that um, with Kara, like her still staying in this kind of like childlike state in her mentality, um, it was kind of like, come on Kara, like I mean I know she wanted to excel but it felt like she, I don't know, that she felt like she was like supposed to be owed this new job. She's supposed to be owed like this and that. And then she didn't want to change. It's just like, well, I know she wants to be close to somebody that's like her. I get that, you know. It was just kind of like, it reminded me how much that she has to grow in, you know. I felt like she learned a lot in the first season, but obviously really didn't. So I think I actually really enjoyed the fact that um, Kat, now she's moving forward, like it's really still that much mentor that she really needs. And, uh, and, it, and it, it adds volumes into Kara as a character moving into trying to be a reporter. The only thing I think that they've messed up on is where the heck was Jimmy Olsen? Jimmy is getting, you know, Kat's job and stuff like that. But it doesn't make sense in the in that why was he not there when Superman left? This would be his best friends. Like, what are they doing with Jimmy Olsen? I know I've heard rumors of him being the Guardian and stuff like that. But that's where I feel like they've been failing in the show. Everything else has actually been very much pretty epic um but either way um this episode like i said wasn't as good as the first episode but i really much did enjoy it i enjoyed the combat i enjoyed metallo i think that metallo or the other metallo the way that they were pushing their you know their force against them like why are they just aiming for the chest i thought that was really cliche um i felt like they could have been used a little bit better um in the way that like all right you can just move push this forward with you know the kryptonite heart that you have but why not you can't like push it out you know or put it in a different position like the arm or the leg or something like that it, that didn't make sense to me especially with the way that Wynn came up with the costume or the kind of like the rehash costume that he came up with either way for me being a comic book fan and me wanting to see what they would explore something like this I think they did a really good job for what they did. So, um, but anyway, it's definitely the show is better. That's, I think that's the main thing that I want to make sure I get my voice, my opinions on. I give this episode an 8 out of 10. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this review for episode 2 of season 2, Supergirl. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. I gotta watch you got them just a little bit. Somebody's at my door. Peace!